zone of interest may be more creative and different than a lot more generic Second World War movies, but that does not mean that it is entertaining. Actually, it is not a good movie, and I will tell you all about that today. There are a couple of problems with this movie that really neglects the entertainment it tries to create. Just like Willy Nuvi, the director Jonathan Glazer tries to make it wishless starting here, and I can't understand why people feel it is an important movie. But I think he has put a lot of emphasis into the creativity and how the movie looks on screen rather than getting the mood or the acting right. Because yes, it is creative with all the red blinking, black screen on the scenes feeling black and white with the girl on the bike to really maximize your message. But at the same time, the focus is a bit locked in that exact aspect. Glazer really neglects the need for good acting by making the movie tell the important message. And for instance, compared to a movie like Schindler's List that manages to combine the good acting and the message, this movie never really finds that right balance. While the movie certainly works on an interesting concept with the Huss family living in luxury around the gates of hell, which is Auschwitz in this case, you never really feel the tension that this movie tries to create. That's why it is boring in a lot of moments as you very few times really see the emotions of the characters. The heated acting moments are few and far between, for instance when Hedwig tries to get rid of the night, make the move to another place. That is a good moment in the movie, but there are very few of those because you need to deep fry the focus on telling the important message rather than combining it with good acting. I get that this movie is supposed to show a group of people that lives with no pain, no suffering, the so-called Lebensraum, that Germans always used to talk about, just outside the walls of Auschwitz. Which in itself is a promising concept, but I do also feel that the movie could benefit from a more Jewish presence. I get that the movie tries to be different, and it is all about Sam more than anything, as you continuously throughout the movie hear the sounds of Auschwitz. But at the same time, when you never really show what goes on in there, you maybe feel a bit out of touch. Certainly, I think the movie could have been better if we also saw some slight glimpses of what went on there, but as the movie has a both focus on the Huss family, the movie does go in a one-sided direction. Like so many movies out there today, this is again a movie that really relies on the tension and you need to feel that one to really be engaged in a movie. Sadly, the tension is not supported by good scenes and while others may feel that tension a bit more, it would actually have helped to maybe have a slight more juice presence in this movie. But then again, it would of course be a totally different movie. Maybe they tried to show dehumanization of the Jews in this movie, but when you never see their side of the story and just the her side of the story, it does feel kind of empty. Of course, you could have done this more successfully if you focused more on the acting and less on the visuals, creativity and strange way this movie is made. But at the same time, if the real message is to show how brutal Huss was, the movie has its merits in some ways. But I don't really think we see too much of a good role from Christian Friedel here. Just the other day, by comparison, I did watch the movie Operation Finale, that also was a movie with an important message. But in that particular movie, they did manage to combine good acting with attention in a movie that is just so much more entertaining. Not to mention the class acts from Ben Kingsley and Oscar Isaac. In that movie, Ben plays so good that you actually don't even recognize that it is him that plays that role. In this movie, you see no such act, and it really shows that perhaps people these days never really care about the good acting, as they used to do in the old days. The movie has in addition perhaps a too detailed focus on the family life, and how these Nazi Germans tries to create a wonderful life for themselves, just near the walls of Auschwitz, and how proud they are of their achievements. It is perhaps a little bit interesting to see how cold and brutal they are did think, but I never really feel the mood takes on brutality enough. It is on the psychological side, but it never resembles the intensity that could have made his movie better. The girl on the bike or those other scenes in black and white may be intended to really burn the message into your mind, but it was never burned into my mind, and for me, it's a 3 out of 10.